Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai, welcome to C++ programming session. In today's session, we'll be learning one of the concepts of C++ that is functions with default argument. First of all, we'll see what is function with default argument. Second, we'll see need of functions with default argument or you can say the advantages we are getting with function with default argument. How to create the function with default arguments. And fourth and the final, what are the major rules you have to follow when you are doing with function with default arguments? First and foremost, what is function with default arguments? Functions with default argument means it is a simple function, but only difference you are having is some of the values or maybe one of the values of of argument of that function is having a default value. The scenario is quite simple. Suppose we are having a sum function which is having two arguments. If suppose we want the second argument to have a default value, that is, if the user passes only the first value, then the second value will be considered the default value. That means in absence of the second value, the func program will take the second argument from the default value. So in this way, if you find any functions having some particular arguments to be not to be changed in most of the times then you can assign a default value to those functions. So it is nothing but it's a simple functions but it's some of the arguments or maybe one of the arguments having some default values. Yes it is true that in a single function it is quite possible to have multiple arguments having default values. So I hope so you have understood what is function with default arguments. Secondly, what is the need of default arguments? As I've said earlier, if you come across any such functions in which you find that the second argument or the value of the argument, like the bank of in rate of interest of the particular account or rate of interest for a particular saving account or something like that, is not going to be changed. In that case, you want to have a default argument. Only exception is given to particular certain customers whose age is like this or whose gender is this thing or something like that you want to apply to it. In that case the rate of interest is going to be fixed up. In only exceptional cases it's going to be changed. In such scenarios it is good to give assign a default value to such arguments. This is done with the help of function with default arguments. So we've understood that in such scenarios we don't have to again and again pass the values. In case if you want to change we'll pass the values and in absence of it the system will automatically take the default value from the argument or the values which we have passed in the declaration. Now let's see how to create the with function with default arguments. First and foremost we need to declare the function. So void sum as the normal way. Only difference is we have to assign the values in the declaration. So whichever arguments you feel so you need to have a default value should be assigned during the function declaration section. So I feel so I'm having two values okay the second value I want to assign a default value in that case the B is having a default value is being assigned to it. The third scenario that is while the definition section in the definition you have to remember that the function will never have the default values. The default value is only assigned during the declaration. It is not assigned in the definition. So in this way in the declaration we have assigned b as 10. In the definition we have not assigned any default values to the b. That is important point to be noted up. Now comes the calling the last section. Other all things remain same nothing has been changed. The calling time, if suppose you have passed two values and the function is taking two arguments, then the 10 and 20 will be assigned, that is the values which I am passing at the runtime or at the calling will be taken into consideration. In that case, the B's default value will not be considered. If suppose I am only passing a single value, in that case, function will assign the one single value to the particular variable and in the absence of the second argument, it will go and refer to the default value, that is 10 in this case. So the 10 will be assigned to that particular variable. Other all remains the same. So in our scenario, 10 plus 10 will be considered. Let's compile and show you, I'll show the result. Compile the program, I'll run it. So in this case you can see that 30 is been assigned that is 10 plus 20 the 30 is been taken into consideration and the second case only 20 is been considered because I have given 10 and the second default value will be considered so 10 plus 10 so it comes to 20. So we came to know that even if you pass two values the two values will be considered if you pass single value the single value will be considered. Now last topic that's what are the rules we have to follow. The only single rule you have to follow or you can say two major rules one the default value is only assigned during the declaration not on definition. 
that is rule number one rule number two it is not possible to assign a default value to a in absence of b that means i can't po it, it is not possible to assign a default value to a and i don't assign a default value to b yes it is possible to assign multiple arguments with default value but it is only possible if all the values in the right hand side is also being assigned so b is having default value c is also having default value is valid yes even if a is also having default value is also valid it's because b and c both are having default value but this is not valid that a is having b is not having is invalid even c is also not having is an invalid because b c both are the right hand variables of that particular function is not having a default value so you have to remember only one thing if you want to assign default values either you have to assign all the variables to its right also or else you have to arrange according to the arguments only yes you can assign multiple values but you have to remember you can't leave the space in here that is b is assigned c is not assigned is invalid that's the two major rules you have to be considering in doing function overloading in c plus plus i hope so you have understood the concepts you have if any any queries you can mail to me at the we know the best at gmail.com or else you can post the comments also thank you and have a nice day